Toastmaster Farhan Jafar Ali. Houdini, father of magic. Gordon Ramsay, world-class chef. Adele, winner of many music awards. Hussein Bolt, the fastest man on earth. The Ninjaya Hariraj, world champion of public speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, what do all of these great individuals have in common? It's that they are experts. And what shapes them? What differentiates them with the amateurs, the novice? The answer to that is time. Time simplified in 10,000 hours. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Good evening. Good evening. In a book called Outliers, published by Malcolm Gladwell in 2008, he deduced a theory that it takes 10,000 hours to become great at something. Now, who is he to say that it takes 10,000 hours for you to master it? Well, his work, yes, it's in 2008, but it was the gold mine of past, present, and future researchers, and anyone who wants to know how to become experts. Berlin psychologists in Germany made a social experiment conducted towards violinists, about 50 of them. They were aged average of 20 years old. They were categorized as the good, the better one, and the best one. And what they found out from the best ones was that they had more, more practice than the good ones. It's amazing that they started at about five years old, holding that violin with their parents and learning for about four hours per week. Four hours per week went on to eight hours when they were eight years old. And by the time they were 12, they were doing 12 hours per week. And by the time they hit 20 years old, they passed the 10,000 hour mark. Unlike the good ones, they only had about 4,000 hours. Zainal Bostam, comedian, aspiring comedian, he stated that comedy is a skill. No one is naturally gifted. And that is true. It's proven many, many times before. Nowhere in your DNA, the long strand of DNA, in your genes to say you are born to do something, but you are born to love something. Hussein Bolt, world record holder of 100 meters event in the Olympics, he smashed the world record. How did he do it? In primary school, he thought about nothing else but sports. By the time he was 12, he was the fastest in his school. And over the years, he went on to tournaments, won medals, and that led him to greatness. Now let's put 10,000 hours in a time frame. You start from minute zero. Ed Sheeran, also a musician, music composer, and a great artist. He said in an interview for his new album, Infinity, he said that he wrote songs when he was young, and they were horrible. He wrote one song per day. He wrote two after a while, and in the end, he was the man he was today. Have you ever had this fiery feeling, that tingly feeling that you are just in something, that you are doing something great? For example, you play football and you're, not, you're thinking of nothing else. When you're dancing, you're thinking of nothing else at all. You're just tapping, tapping. It's called the zone. Have you ever heard of the zone? No. The zone is actually a real psychological phenomenon. Deduced by a 
paper made by Jane and Michelle Kay in 1999. They made a detailed research about the zone. It's, it's defined as a universal state of mind and you are in complete and utter focus at some point. It's mostly felt by athletes. Um, you can see them obviously in world record videos. That's how you see it. Now this phenomenon is so rare, it's very rare to achieve, but you can become close to it. So in 10,000 hours, here's the secret. <coughs> you can do it too. 10,000 hours, when you come close to 10,000 hours, you can unlock the zone. The zone in an anime called Kuroko no Basuki. The illustrator the visually displayed the zone as someone who's, who has a motionless face and has lightning in his eyes. The characters in that cartoon played basketball really quick and won many, many times. The zone can be illustrated that way because you can feel it too. Let's take a, an example that we can all relate to, public speaking. Hour zero, you walk into the room, and you sit down. You might dislike public speaking, you might hate it, you might throw it away. But you might sit down and actually love it. From two hours of meeting, you move on, and you make speeches, you form roles, and you go to contests, you fail, you fail hard, but you keep going because you love it. And eventually, you reach the mark. Ladies and gentlemen, a wise man once said, you're never too young or too old to start something. The right time is now. And the only time the 10,000 hour theory does not work is when you stop. Back to you, Gary. <laughs> Thank you very much, Toastmaster Farhan. I believe Kobe Bryant, the great basketball player, uses the zone as well. When he takes flat shots, he once mentioned that he also envisioned that the shots go in. So I believe that is the zone. <laughs> So, <laughs> next up we have the uh, CCA.